Brought to you by Buckstone Roofing, Scotland's finest roofing company. Brought to you by Wiggum's Wine Cellars, specialists in seafood with a massive choice of fine wines and champagne. Tonight at Netherdale, Scotland A take on Ireland Wolfhounds, who, as everybody knows, are Ireland A in sheep's clothing. All the Scots got their campaign off to a winning start here at Netherdale earlier in the season when they beat USA. But tonight will be a different story where they try to stop the Irish going for three in a low. And I tell you, nowhere will this class be better epitomised than at scrum half, where local boy Greg Laidlaw takes on Thomas O'Leary at scrum half. I tell you, that will be worth the entrance money on its own. Laidlaw leading out the Scottish team with mascot Andrew Cochran. We are a proud young man tonight. And early on, Scott putting on a wee bit of pressure. Ball out to Jim Thompson there. Laidlaw, David Blair. Fraser McKenzie and <laughs> stopped unceremoniously there but penalty for offside and a chance for David Blair to open the scoring for Scotland after four minutes which he does. Three forward penalty 3-0. Irish looking pretty frisky in the first few minutes and oh look at that break by John Murphy inside ball to Willie Falloon Falloon going all the way taken out by Heffern O'Hare the Irish there in numbers Scots defenders getting round the ball but all of a sudden Falloon getting his hands on it again and crashing over just beside the post opening try to Ireland Simple kick for Ian Humphreys, and after nine minutes, Ireland leading seven points to three. On the quarter hour mark, Heppen O'Hare taking it into the Irish 22, Laidlaw prompting again, John Welsh knocked over by the Irish defence. Laidlaw, we nip on his own round the fringes, taken out. The Scots getting there in numbers again. And Ireland offending. Greg Garner spotted the offence there. And David Blair pulled the margin back to one point with that penalty. Straight from the kickoff, though, the Scots got themselves into an awful fanko. The ball bouncing about like a ping pong ball there, getting to Thomas O'Leary, out to Humphreys. Humphreys, we chip ahead. Dennis Hurley in pursuit. Oh, where was that one going? Absolutely nowhere. Laidlaw and Jim Thompson having to tidy up the mess. And the Scots in a bit of disarray, only five metres from their own line. Trying to make this one safe. Taken on by Alan McDonald. In a couple of yards there. Now Scott McLeod, but straight into three or four Irish bodies. The Scots penalised, and very straightforward kick for Ian Humphreys. Straight through the post, and 10-6 to Ireland. 16 minutes gone. The Irish keeping up the pressure. Nice wee inside offload there to Nevin Spence. Well tackled, but the ball out to Gavin Duffy. Duffy crashed to the ground by John Beatty. This time out to Ian Nagel. He's knocked over by Jeff Cross. But oh, a Scottish hand uh, pinching that one there. Penalty to Ireland. Humphreys sticking it over again. And as the half hour marks approach, 13 6 to Ireland. Thumping run there by Murray Lowe. One for his Glasgow teammate John Welsh. And yes, the Irish just getting a wee bit naughty in there. Penalty for Scotland. David Blair through the post. That's just what they needed because it brought the margin back to only four points at half time. Scrum Magazine. Subscribe online at scrummagazine.com. Brought to you by Buckstone Roofing, Scotland's finest roofing company.
Brought to you by Wiggum's Wine Cellars. Specialists in seafood with a massive choice of fine wines and champagne. Into the second half and the Scots had been a wee bit out of sorts in the first 40 minutes but my goodness they certainly cranked it up after the break and now driving on the Irish line quarter of an hour into the second half they won the penalty but referee Greg Garner playing advantage and the Scots keeping possession and over the line referee looks and yes try given now who was going to come up with the ball from that pile of steaming bodies up he comes and ah it's Murray Lowe uh, the Glasgow prop will have enjoyed that one and David Blair straight through the post smashing kick and the Scots take the lead 16 points to 13 the pack now absolutely rampant keeping the Irish pinned inside the 22 and Fraser McKenzie having a go he'd probably have made it if he'd managed to keep both his boots on because that was his you could see lying on the side of the pitch there Laidlaw beavering away looking for that ball David Blair changing the angle the Scots have won the penalty again and Scott McLeod oh, held just beside the posts nothing going to happen there go well, back they come for the penalty and David Blair no problem with that one and the Scots 19 points to 13 going into the final quarter and that front row is now giving the Irish a torrid time <laughs> what's this? Laidlaw takes the kick just my distance he said and so it was and a great cheer from the Netherdale crowd as the Scottish skipper takes him to 22 points to 13 ahead with 10 minutes to go. Great take there by Scott McLeod at the line out. The pack piling in there again. Taken on by Fergus Thompson. One for Dougie Hall. Again, a great drive by Jeff Cross. What a game the big Edinburgh prop had. Scott's going through the phases. They know they've won the penalty. And Fergus Thompson knows he wasn't going anywhere. Knows he can rely on David Blair to resume the kicking duties and just about take out our cameraman as well. Oh, into the final minutes. And Ian Whitten trying to get the Irish a bit of momentum. But, oh, great tackle there by Scott McLeod. And a wee bit of larceny by Fraser McKenzie. And look at the big fella go. Lovely offload to Heffner here. He's still got work to do, but my goodness, he outpaced Gavin Duffy there. And in for a great finish. Oh, the final kick of the game. David Blair's conversion. Final score, 32 points to 13. No, at half time we just got in there and uh, Scriv um, just talked about not giving away stupid offloads and, and silly penalties and uh, we came out in the second half and we done that and uh, it proved to win us the game. You really had them under the cosh, didn't get out of their half very much and uh, the pack really gave you a, a terrific shift tonight. Yeah, the pack were outstanding in the second half. So we were under pressure in the first half and we talked about playing a little bit more field position and uh, the pack were outstanding and Jeff Cross I thought was uh, excellent as well. I mean, have to ask you, I mean, that kick, you know, why why, why did you take it? Come on, tell, why did you go for that one? Uh, I don't know, I'm just, I've got the length so I can, <laughs> been, uh, on, on the kicking, so yeah. I, I felt I could get it, so uh, I just took it and it unfortunately went over. And it got your name on the score sheet? It got my name on the score sheet, which is always a good thing. No wonder Greg Laidlaw is smiling. Great performance by the Scots. And they've got Italy next week at Netherdale to make it three in a row. This is Ron Evans for Scottish Rugby Television at Netherdale. <laughs>